Hey guys, welcome back to Titan Shield Gaming, and I got another new showcase map, and this one is on Epic Islands. I have been holding off on this one for a while because, frankly, it looks absolutely gorgeous, and I wanted to spend the time putting it together for you guys. And this thing has a little bit of everything, and it impressed me a lot. I like it a lot, and I want to bring it to you guys. So, thank you guys for coming back. Now, we're going to get on with this show. So, basically, this thing, as you can see, is a bunch of islands put together in it I like I'm primarily a mainland kind of guy but when you got an island that just looks kind of cool and unique like this you got to just go at it and this looks like it could be a ton of fun for you guys so I'm hoping you'll take this into consideration when you're trying to play single player or play with friends on a localized network or even go ahead and put it up on your server because it looks like this is pretty close to finish. The only thing I would have to highly recommend the author to do is maybe put some more birds in the air and put some fix that castle spawn. I did not see any castles on this map whatsoever. But overall everything else seems to be spawning pretty damn well and it is just a beautiful map. I love the way he uses the boulders because where I come from up here in Toronto, Canada, there's tons of boulders all along the shoreline for water breaks and so on and so forth because it gets stormy up here once in a while. But overall, this map right here is something that I see being a toss-up. You're either going to absolutely love this map or you're going to hate it because there's just so many rivers and so many valleys that you have to cross in order to get to the other side. But I can see some pretty cool things happening here. I can see some really good fighting. I can see people making bridges. Like, how cool would that be? And then you got these absolutely beautiful plains. Like, you got Branos, you got Aloes, everything, and this beautiful stream that just kind of zigzags throughout it. And it just looks really nice. I love the choice of color of the grass as well as the trees. The placements look really nice. I I see artistry in this, and that's what I really want to see when I see maps. I don't want to see someone just throw up a map that just looks cool. I want to see like time and effort and thought put into it. Like, look at this. This bridge here, like, like this, this is something you don't see on custom maps that often. It looks like he took the time, he took the effort, and put in a model of his own. I'm not sure if this is something used from the game files, but this is impressive. This is what I really, really like when I see an author put it, tons of work into their actual map and. It just blew my mind when I saw this. It looked beautiful, it looked seamless, it looked like it meant to be there. And this right here is another perfect interpretation of what I like about adding a little flair to your map. Like red biomes, you see them on all these maps, but you never see a red biome that looks organically grown. It looks like someone actually, like these things just fell over after time. And look at this freaking fish. How big is that thing? It looks like it's like a 3.8 or something. Damn. That's a lot of food on the table, people. <laughs> Anyways, getting back to this forest, like you can see young uh, trees growing off to an angle a little bit. You can see older trees that are just starting to go over to the side, like their roots haven't taken hold, or there's logs on the floor. There's just, it just looks like a real forest. Like. That's something I see when I go out and I go hiking or anything like that. I go into the woods and I see tons of these trees just falling over. And it's really nice to see this. It's it's something that just goes to show just how much time and thought someone put into this. They put a lot of time and thought into it. And I like to make these videos to showcase this. This is something that I used to do way back in the days when I did modding for Battlefield 1942. I did a mod called uh, Battlefield for mankind it was a stargate mod and i did a lot of map design back then and i just sat there for hours crafting and sculpting and adding things making it look as realistic as possible and also taking into account people's playability of it like i want someone to be able to run through that forest run up a log 
gravel up outside of a cliff to get away from a T-Rex. You know, that's pretty damn cool. Speaking of cool, look at this. Where on what map have you seen a whole island dedicated to skeleton dinos? Now, I went onto this island, my, my frames immediately took a dive because skeleton costumes are crazy for the CPU when you're generating all the lights and all that stuff. But this right here is something I think is absolutely 100% unique to any of the maps I've ever played on. He has a whole island dedicated to wicked cool OP skeleton dinos. These things are a beast to kill, but when you do, you get a badass looking animal on your hands when you're raiding someone. So I would highly recommend this for anyone that really wants these kind of skeleton things, especially when you're like more um, PVE or RP-ish, you can actually go in here and like make this like a big tribal thing where you go in there and you get a bunch of skins. So this to me is a really cool accent to the actual map and it just kind of gives the whole epicness to the islands, which is a perfect name for this map. I love it. So. <laughs> This, uh, actually, this map, I'm going to admit, has gotten me more excited than I thought I originally was, was going to be. Um, I didn't expect all the little finer things that uh, this author's put out here. And if this isn't at 100% now, which I don't think it is, I'm super excited to see what they actually go ahead and do. Now we make it over to the normal arc look. The nice, like, you know... How beachy kind of feel to it where it's all kind of leveled out a little bit and it's peaceful and a starter zone basically and you get the nice palm trees and all that good stuff and you have the snow little snow biome right off to the left but overall this is this right here is something that most people would expect from the map and then you get into like the real cool aesthetic feel of everything like right here like this looks gorgeous again I have to come back to this and it's just he does such a really good job in making a stream look like a stream and it just looks like a really fun overall map it's a big map like I'm not gonna lie here this map is freaking huge and I love big large maps but the only problem with big large maps is air is actually a hundred percent dominant when it comes to larger maps like this like you have to be in the air to get places but I can see this map with a large population on a server being a really fun experience. And that experience doesn't necessarily have to be out in the open. You can hide down here in this little swamp area. That looks so cool. All the light has been cut out. And it's just one of those really sweet little locations that you kind of want to just like chill out with your buddies when you're like running away from an enemy or an enemy's looking for you. You can hide in here, make a little crafting base to get up and go on again and then you got this wicked cool cave here like at first i was like what what is this where's this water coming from and then boom right here <laughs> look at this cave so well hidden you wouldn't even know it was there unless you actually did what i did was wander into the swamp and he has architecture in here he has models it's just like the different colors of crystals it just seems like this was so well thought out um, I haven't seen a map so methodically like um, customized like this since I would have to say the center when it was a mod it was someone that just made a map before it was taken in officially and I'm hoping that the uh, wildcard studios will see a lot of these really creative artists out there and you know either buy or ask permission to use their maps and give them uh, compensation for it because there's a lot of work and time put into these and you know if you have a lot of different perspectives from people like look what have you seen in the game have you seen something like this this is cool this is mysterious I love it and um, I'm hoping they will take these people in or at least you know get their their content and allow it to be official so that people and other people like you can actually experience it in game we don't have to go through the whole thing of going to the steam workshop and downloading it and all that stuff so this is a really cool map i really appreciate the fact that there's a lot of detail put into it and although it's like a bunch of islands there's a lot of people who like that kind of stuff i like big content it's more like like pangea or something like that but um that's simply because i'm a raider 
you know, there's some people who just love this game for the fact that they can explore and see things. And I'm more into raiding, so I kind of want connectability so that I can bring my dinosaurs to your enemy, you know, and, and raid them. So, you got your little snow biome here, so don't worry you guys, you got plenty of polymer. As well as oil and all your cool little direwolves and stuff like that. So, it's a really nice map, and we're going to move on to another area right now. This section would be considered the mountain range of the area of this map, and um, it has a lot of birds. It has cool little valleys where you can actually lock off your area very well and defend, and it just overall has a nice aesthetic to it because a lot of these islands are relatively shallow, and these are more rock-like, so there are tribes who might want to build up on a pillar here and just like have a good time and dominate the air around it, but overall... This map has a lot of cool little things. You got a little swamp nestled into this and you know, you got you might have people who want to chill out on rafts and have fun. So, it's just a variety of things that people can do on this map that I think would be a lot of fun and it'd be interesting to see a server put this up and just having a literally a full population just PVP on this. So guys, if you are interested in this absolutely beautiful map, I highly recommend you take a look at it and then possibly play it. And this map has a bunch of spawns and a lot of creatures, so there is nothing really wonky about it. The only downside, I will say it again, I did not see any Quetzals on here, so I would highly recommend the author of this map, if you're watching it, to uh, consider fixing it. Because on a map like this, you're going to have to use the air to get to a lot of places fast. And that's a really important thing for a large map, specifically like Valhalla, it is so big and so wide that you just kind of got to use air to get places. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this showcase because this showcase, I spent a bunch of time recording a bunch of scenes and I am sure I overlooked a crap ton of things that were interesting, cool, and fun. So I highly recommend you guys go check this out yourselves. And I'm going to leave you guys with a few beauty shots as I always do on these videos. And I want to thank you all for coming back to Titan Shield Gaming because it means a lot when I see you guys respond, comment, and like things. Because frankly, I want to do this full time. Like this is my objective to do right now in my life. And you guys are making it well worth the trouble. So I want to thank you all again and thank you for coming back to Titan Shield Gaming. You guys are the best and you're the reason why these videos get up and they get up so consistently. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys later. Fight me, man! Fight me! Oh shit, Cosby! They didn't weigh you down! Let me go! Come up to me! Come up to me! Go! 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 Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Move! Go! You fucking scrubs! <laughs> the weapons in there. Yes. Yes. Did you get a hand? Oh. Yeah. He's hand